So the game between my two students uh, is starting. e4 by Tiabrigo, d6 by Chessburger, knight f3, knight f6. So Chessburger trying to attack the pawn now, attacking the center. Okay, knight c3, g6. I think that white has to take the center here, d d4, and uh, well, and and, and take uh, take the control of those four squares. You know, it's very important in the start of the chess game to control the center. Um, then d4, e4, e5, d5. So this is a. This is a. I think this. This this is a peer who is black. So. This is the opening. Uh, Chessburger is playing. Uh, not sure. Tiabrigo is uh, is very experienced uh, in in this opening. So it's going to be interesting what he does. Bishop g5, h6. Good move. So the bishop e3. Chessburger could try knight g4 and, and kick this uh, this bishop away further. Let's see. Okay, bishop e3. So knight g4 is an option. After bishop f4, maybe we could try to fire e5. Um, well, it was an option. I would play now as uh, as white the move uh, pawn to h3. Make sure the bishop or the knight doesn't land to g4. Okay, knight g4. Protecting the pawn, attacking the bishop. So here, bishop f4 pretty much forced. And then I think black will fire e5. It's going to be interesting. A very interesting moment now in this game. Because if Tiabrigo, long castle, and Chessburger is taking on e3, I think Chessburger uh, is, is, uh, is really having a good opening. Making sure um, he... He takes the bishop pair, and this bishop on g7 will uh, then it will be impossible for white to exchange uh, those two bishops. So I believe knight takes e3. Uh, I believe knight takes e3, queen takes e3, and um, hmm. well, here a move like c5 or a move like uh, yeah, a move like c5 might make sense. So now here we see 6 b5. Uh, a5 and maybe b4, a4 then Penny? later on. Penny? Penny? Interesting, interesting. Thanks to Oddly Feature for following the channel. Thanks, you man. Makes me really happy to have new followers. So yeah, to summarize, white has the center and has better development, but black has the bishop pair and these kings look safe. e6, e6, uh, it's not my favorite move. I would have preferred to prefer some to prepare some some c5 and, and see this uh this bishop shining on the long diagonal. E6 uh, I just don't really see the idea behind the move. because uh, you cannot really play d5 for the moment. Uh well you can play d5 if your opponent doesn't castle because you have this rook e8 uh making a pin after a ward. But if I just uh, let's say short castle now, I don't think it's a good idea long castle. Oh, I think it's risky. Bishop is really a good defender, so well, shame for Alex. He played uh, for for Chessburger. He played e6. He had to go better c6 or, or knight d7 and prepare c5 or c6 b5 a5 a4, as I mentioned earlier. Now, uh, big question, big question. Uh, both are my students. Both are my students uh, as a Gaelic fan. So. So yeah, both of my students. Uh, but I'm a bit shamed by the movie E6. Uh, would have preferred C6 really. Now it's unclear how black continues. Maybe he has to play A6, B5, Bishop B7. He really lost an important tempo. Also this pawn is, is, is really misplaced. Ah. When Chessburger is going to watch this video on, uh, on YouTube, he will be pretty deceived with this move. Um, yeah, white setup is good, but he lost this bishop. So if Chessburger would really didn't, didn't really lose this tempo with e6, which is really totally wrong, it's it's even a bit weak. It's even somehow it's it's even better on e7. Uh, okay, maybe you have to play queen e7 and c5 here, and really really get use of this bishop. You really have to do something on the queen sides quickly. So candidate moves, uh, I would say a6, 
I would say knight d7, queen e7, those are candidate moves for sure. Maybe even for some reason b5 immediately could be a move played. Knight c6. Well, I, I almost put in my candidate moves, but at the first side I, I don't want to see this pawn blocked. I mean, I mean maybe he wants to follow up with rook b8, b5, b4. In this case, it could be in the in the candidate moves. Thing here is that white it white looks like like they are better developed and all, but the fact he lost this dark square bishop, it makes things hard to pass through uh, the defense. So he could go with h4. Could start with h4 and see what happens. h4, h5 will always be useful, I think. And then see what's happen. What what happens? Then maybe black can react with g5 and uh, he will have to make some plans like that. Knight e1 and, and push f4. I could eventually flip the board, yeah, uh, as he's uh, saying, Erlock. But I prefer to, to, I don't know, watching with white is, uh, is maybe easier with the coordinates. So h4, yeah, logical move by, uh, by Chabrigo. Okay, knight a5, I like that, attacking the bishop. So if bishop b3, I think you have to play b5 immediately, just don't lose any tempo. It's a bit practical, of course, but I mean, need to do that. So maybe white has to play just bishop d3 here. Um, yeah, and, 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 and get this bishop on this long diagonal, so it means afterward you could maybe when you play h5, g5, even think about moves like uh, e5 and queen e4 coming in. At some point, this bishop can be useful on this diagonal. So bishop d3 makes sense. Bishop d3 really makes sense. Uh, let's see. Queen e2 would be a mistake. I mean, giving up a bishop for a knight here. It's not the move you want to play. Uh, bishop e2. I mean, want to bring it to e2 and you can go to d3. Bishop b5, just losing time. Okay, bishop d3, another good move. Why are you doing good? Why doing good now for the moment? So... We need to find a plan with black here. Should you play b5 anyway? This is my big question. It's a crazy situation somehow. Black really has to react quickly and maybe b5 immediately. Sacking the pawn and uh, and you take the pawn and rook b8, pawn to a6, pawn to c5, queen to b6. Redriving all the pieces quickly on the, on, on the queen side. I, I think I would go b5. I think I would go b5. Are you saying your students are watching the stream? No, they, they are not. They are not. I'm really hoping for them to, to, to make a good game. They are like making my publicity here. D5. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Very, very quick answer by Chabrigo. Uh, I'm, I'm not glad that Chabrigo played this quick E5. This is a key moment of the game. Uh, you have to think. It's. I mean, you will decide the pawn structure of the whole game on this move. This is what we call a responsible move. This is a critical moment of the game. I mean, all the moves are available. I would not take it. Uh, but I could just keep the tension and play h5 first. I mean, playing e5 quickly. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a good move. I mean, e5. But I mean, playing that quick. It's definitely not uh, not the way you you have to deal in in those situations. Now knight c4. So Alex was uh, following an interesting plan to to drive the knight like that. Now the bishop and the knight retreat. It makes sense to take, and uh, those two knights are better than the two bishops. So now, Chabrigo might think about some plan like g4, g5, and bring the knight to f6. This could make sense. He could think also about 
h5, g5, and some knight e4, knight takes, pawn takes, h6, h7. Both, both plans are available. Uh, it seems white really have a good play. Those two knights in a closed position like we have, doing good. This bishop a bit buried uh, in front of this pawn chain. Uh, I, I, I like... Uh, I like white here much better now. Even d5 is possible. So h5, okay. Uh, knight e4 probably now. Okay, you got to bring this knight to e4. I mean, d5 is opening maybe in some variation this bishop. You like this bishop to stay here. Even queen e2, queen takes c4. Or knight d2, knight takes d4 might be uh, interesting. Like knight e5, we have to calculate. I mean, knight e5. Let's say b5, knight takes g5, pawn takes g5, pawn h6, bishop h8, pawn g7, king g7, and, and rook h6, or knight f6 coming. This could have been just uh, winning the game on the spot. Uh, knight d2 also decent, as I said. Maybe you, you want just to grab the pawn. Here, hard time for, for Chessburger. He really have to come up with something. He literally has to come with something here. What could it be? It could be, yes, I wanted to say a6. The thing about c6 is that you want to play b5 and a5 maybe. I, want, I would have played a6, b5, should b7 maybe and, and then keep pushing. Uh, so c6 also, c6, knight takes b5, knight d6. You are, you, you are giving up squares. These d6 squares now is uh, is available for the knight. And then the other knight might come on c5 and could be like a two spider making web around uh, around your position. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard here. Well, Chabrigo really made a lot of improvement last uh, last couple of months. Really start to play good chess. Pretty impressive game here. Uh, I really don't know what Chessburger is uh, is having uh, in 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 his head now. Really don't know. He got to find some practical chances. Okay, b5, knight d6, and queen a5, maybe. Then king b1, b4, uh, and try to do something. But I really don't see what. Okay, knight d6, excellent move. Come on, Chessburger. You got to do this. b4, knight e4, or knight a4. Both moves available anyway. You are, you are, you are, you are going towards c5. That's... <laughs> Stuff then a4 even is coming. Ah, oh. yeah, both these players are, are my students. Uh, Chabrigo is my current student, Chessburger is uh, he's a former student, he's uh, he's now doesn't have much time for chess, but he's a former student. Chabrigo really playing good. Knight c4, excellent move. Those dark squares, yeah, a5, string its chance, really. But I know Chessburger can be really dangerous. If he can get something in, like a4, b3, at some point, he can be merciless. At some point, he can be merciless. So the time control of the game was uh, 15 minutes for each player. So a5. So now I would really look toward f4 with white. I don't really need to occupy c5 as white for the moment. Can keep my knight, maybe it comes to f6 at some point. We would play f4, take, take. If take, take, and then rook h3, rook g3, leave the rook. And uh, and give a checkmate to the brave player with white. Then you can, uh, you can like he goes uh, king h6 at some point. You lift another rook. You sack the rook on g7. Bring the rook to g3. The knight to f6 and the checkmate is available on h6. So this is this is what I would look uh, with with white. So it's one move, uh, two moves, three moves, four moves, and you have this combination available. Not talking even about the knight takes f7 that might be available any time. Uh, okay, so f4 would be my move. 
I thought would be my move. Tia Brigo. Trying to think a bit like me. Excellent move by Tia Brigo. Merciless in this game. And just for the ones that uh, watched the video from the start, this move E6 was really a game changer. It was really a huge mistake by Chessburger. Now really suffering. Ha! Huh. Even knight f6 check, bishop can't take. And, uh, okay, maybe even a plan like rook f1, knight f6 would be possible. Though I, I would go for the rook lift. Uh, it, it seems to me it's, it's just it's just more logical. So a4. Okay, so Chessburger trying to mutter the, 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 wa the, the water. Now Matt Slayer, uh, Chabrigo is not listening, uh, we discussed before the game, they are not watching, uh, but uh, we, we, we've been, uh, we, we've been, uh, we've been having a few lessons, it seems, uh, even quite a few of them, so it seems uh, it starts thinking like, uh, thinking like me. Rook d3, rook h3, the candidate move. Rook h3, rook d3. Maybe even rook f1 with the idea of knight f6 or knight f6 directly. Or uh, knight f6, knight g4 even. This is another plan. Because knight f6 check, uh, king h is pretty much force. Knight g4, you straining knight x f7 and, and then you you maybe want to play knight x h6 as well. So maybe this is, a, this is another way to play. That's a, those are the ways to, to, to play this game. Those are the way to play this game. Keep it on. So it goes with knight f6. Bishop takes, oh my god! Oh, how do you go on bishop takes? Ah, oh, just burger, what are you doing? Okay, King H7 is the only move here to keep this game alive. But I'm afraid there is a checkmate of some sort. Like King H7, Queen E4 check maybe. No, not Queen E4, but should be something. Maybe the Rook lift anyway. And bringing somewhere on G7. I can't believe, uh, I just can't believe black can, uh, can defend now. How can you play bishop f6 that quick? How about it? King h7 the only move really. You get to do that. And then rook h3, and when you play king rook g8, you will have queen e4 check, king h8, and, and knight f7. So it seems you just have to, to drive your rook then. Okay, here rook a5, he wants to play rook g5, but after d5. Uh, d5, rook h7 then. Resourceful player. Finding some resources out of nowhere. Do after queen h6, sorry. But after queen h6, you don't have rook g5 and it's queen g7 checkmate. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So queen h6 and queen g7 checkmate next. So it was a resourceful move, but it just doesn't work. Could have started by king h7 and then rook, rook a5 to try to bring the rook here. It's game over. It's game over. Ah, Trap Rigor, really impressive in this one. Really impressive in this game. Don't know what Alex uh, Chessburger is thinking about here. But, uh, I don't know. It's literally checkmate on next move. Oh, G3, oh, G3, even. <laughs> even without this pawn, you could look at those ideas. So, great game. I hope they make a revenge. Let me check on... Uh...
on Skype. Let me check on Skype. <laughs> 